Hi YouTube, how is everybody doing? I hope you're okay. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, first of all I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, to all of the people that have, you know, took time out to check out my videos and to, you know, just kind of catch up on my story and on my journey rather. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you. I um, started my YouTube channel. It was just going to be a channel based on me singing, based on my makeup. That was really about it, really. It was going to be about just me and what I do and what my life entails. But yeah, that took a major turn when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So yeah, I am just basically saying thank you to my subscribers. Um, I'm hoping that you know I can bring information on the subject and information that is valuable to people that are seeking. Because you know, I thank God for being in the position and in the day and age that I am in now, where information is literally at your fingertips. There is never a day where I haven't, you know, got the phone and researching something to do, you know, with cancer. So, um, I'd say it's, um, it's a blessing to have, you know, information so easy, easily accessible. So I'm hoping to, you know, come with some information. I keep saying that I am, but I will. I'm compiling it together so that it makes sense. Because <laughs> a lot of the things, there's so many... You know what I mean? Different interpretations of different cures and different um, remedies that you can take for various different things relating to cancer. I'm trying to, you know, ingest it, digest it, and then kind of regurgitate it back to you guys. That's such a disgusting. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, just please stay tuned and please pass my videos on to people because. I didn't realise how much it's helping people and it's only when I get messages saying oh my gosh thank you so much and and I'm like wow okay cool great you know um, so you know if you can forward them on to other people and sometimes as I've mentioned before sometimes you don't know who's going through this you know journey of breast cancer and it's not just women that suffer from breast cancer it's men as well there's a lot of men that go through that same process as women do when when it comes to deciding about chemotherapy um, radiotherapy and even reconstructions which I didn't know it's mind-blowing and there's a lot of people that are suffering in silence um, and you know research in silence as well so you know if my videos can get to them to say don't worry don't worry there's nothing to worry about just pick up your book and a pen and just you know spend some time on the internet research um, research different you know just type in a bunch of stuff in Google type in cancer natural cures for cancer type that in YouTube and you'll be mind blown of how many videos there is do you know what I mean so my advice to anybody that's going through cancer of any sort would be breathe and then decide what you're going to do, especially for those who have just been diagnosed with cancer. Um, I want to relate it to only breast cancer because obviously that's what I'm dealing with, that's what I'm going through. I don't want to really, you know, say other cancers because as we know that's a different process. Some of them are different processes. So if you've been diagnosed with breast cancer but also cancer, you know, on a very far stretch, the first thing I advise you to do is to, you know, yeah, cry, get the tears and the shock of it out the way, but decide how long that's going to be for, okay? Don't say that you don't know how you're going to ever get over this, oh my gosh, and start crying and getting yourself into a whirlwind of emotions and up and down. It will be like that, but you can choose, you can choose to say, 
I'm going to cry for two days, two days only. And after those two days, when I'm done crying, I'm going to get my head down into that laptop, into the computer, in your phone, whatever. I'm going to get my head down and do some research on my condition and how I can heal my body naturally without poisoning it first. That's what you have to do. Okay? Decide how long your mourning process will be because that's what I did. Straight away I says, okay, oh my gosh, today is a bad day, which was the day I was diagnosed. I said it's a bad day. I had my family around me and I said to them, you know what, I'm only gonna cry for today. I'm only gonna cry. But tomorrow I need to find this cure because I'm not taking chemo and I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm not gonna let it change who I am. So decide that from, if you can dig down deep inside within you, decide that from a very early stage, straight after diagnosis. Sounds crazy, but it can be done because I've done it and I can only talk, talk on what I have done. I will not talk about somebody else's experience or I'll probably revert to it, but I will not talk about it as if it's my experience. I will only talk about my own personal experience. And this is D being real. I ain't telling you no BS. I'm not telling you nothing that I've found out or read about or seen. This is me and what I'm going through. So, after you've decided that you're going to give up the crying, get down into the research. After the research, Obviously write everything down that you're going to do, write down your process, even write or record your journey because it will help you. There's a lot of things in my journey that I go back and I look at and I think, wow I forgot about that. Thank God that I actually wrote it down or that I did a video on it, do you know what I mean? So keep a progress because you've got to know in your head that at the ending of this journey, you're going to be fine. So you want to look back on those things or have it there so that if somebody you know that comes upon the same journey that you've already been on, they can then say, what did you do? And then you can pull out your little book or your video and say, oh, look on this day, this is what I did and this is what, you know what I'm saying? Have it there for reference. We don't go through these, these problems and we don't go on certain journeys for no reason. There has to be a lesson and if you don't get the lesson, then it's going to be a pointless experience. So, a lesson that is as great as, you know, any other person that's gone through a, a, a disease or sickness or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You can turn it around. You can make it to be a massive journey of enlightenment for other people. So... It's just about reviewing and looking at your situation and turning it around, you know, to to be beneficial for you. And and some people might say, what the hell, is she, re is she for real? Cancer. But you've got to think deep within, you've got to be on a level where you're saying, you know what, this has got to be for a reason. What is the reason? Creator, show me the reason why I'm on this journey. And I know why I'm on this journey. I didn't know it beforehand but of all of a sudden now I'm very clear on my purpose in life you know what I mean that's an amazing disclaimer to make but yes I am I'm so certain why I am on this earth and I couldn't say that um, last year last year I was just kind of you know I hit 30 and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I had a midlife crisis. I didn't know that that even existed until I hit 30 and I thought, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Oh my goodness me, there's so many things that I want to do. Oh, and I felt all of a sudden like I never have time. Like, I, you know, I should have been doing something else or should be on a different path or should be, I felt out of place. And I was constantly saying, I, I need to have some clarity in my life. I need to know why why am I here? Why am I the way I am? Why do I talk like this? Why do I look like this? Why am I in this environment right here and right now? I was asking all those questions and my gosh, when you ask questions, you know, <laughs> be careful. 
because you will get the answers if you ask for the question. If you ask, you will get the answers if you ask those questions sincerely. And yeah, I believe I got the answer. I'm not going to go into detail, that's another story, that is another video. <laughs> but the main gist of this video is to just say thank you so much, YouTube viewers. I can't call you all by name. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I hope that it is a channel, you know, that inspires people and uplifts people. I know that it has been already because I've got so many messages. I've had so many people that's linked me on Facebook. Guys, thank you so much. And keep linking me. I'm here. As I said, I'm not always on social media all the time. But when I am, I will holler. I will, you know, try and reply. There's a lot of messages that I haven't replied back to. But I will get into doing that so you know stay tuned for my other videos and you know keep praying me up keep encouraging me there's things that I might do that you might disagree with let's be nice about it because we are dealing with people's feelings and I can't stand reading a comment and it kind of gets my back up you know because I'm thinking I'm not about somebody saying you should be doing this and blah, 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 and, and drilling me no don't drill me I know sometimes people saying, Denise, please do this and do that, but you can say certain things in love, you know what I'm saying? So guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please press the subscribe button. Please share it. Leave a comment and press like as well. See you all in the next video.